Say I want to side chain a drum loop, but I don't want to have to use automation each time the kick hits. I want it to be automatic. The kick in this drum loop has a lot of bass, and layered with the sub, this causes a lot of mud. Using a regular side chain wouldn't work, and it'd cut out the bass even when the kick isn't hitting. What we need here is to modify what the side chain listens to. We can make it listen to just the low end of the drum loop. To do this, let's make sure our drum loop is side chained to the sub bass or the track we're side chaining. We can open a patcher. In this patcher, we're going to use a limiter, a compressor or noise gate, and an EQ. From FL Studio, we're going to right click on that, outputs, audio drum loop or whatever you channel you have connect it to the EQ then connect that to Maximus right click on the fruity limiter go to inputs audio and add an input add one and that those two go to the fruity limiter go to compression set the side change to the one turn down the threshold turn up the knee However, this is the same issue we were discussing before so to fix this, we can low pass it and so that the sidechain only listens to these lower frequencies, which is what our sub is. And in the Maximus, we can simplify the volume so it's consistent each time, like this. And this can also get rid of any softer hits. You can also just do this with Maximus alone as it's a multiband compressor. Do the simplification with the low end, then eliminate the mid and high frequencies. You can configure this as needed and you know, all that stuff as much as you want and not have to worry about changing the sidechain. You can also just use this for your drum bus.